All right, for this fly, we're going to use a size 10. I'm going to use a size 10. You could use 10, 12, 14, 8, 6, whatever you want. We're going to start a thread. Helps to have a curved shank hook. It's not that big a deal. You can adjust to tie these on flat, straight hooks. I would recommend a curved hook. Okay, now we're gonna get our black dubbing, or whatever color you'd like. This would be a good pattern for most stone flies, golden stones, etc. It's kind of a stimulator type. And we're gonna build a dubbing noodle. I'm using super fine dry fly dubbing. And we'll start about a hook point. We're building our taper. Your taper. I prefer a thicker body on this one. Stoneflies are a little beefier. body done or under body now we're gonna need to get a clump of I'm using elk hair you could use deer hair you could use just about any hair you have I prefer this elk because of the least amount of flareability <laughs> yeah it just flares a lot less so big fan Keeps the wing stronger, upright, not going crazy. We're going to stack that. Give her a couple of stackers. Pull it out. I'm going to cut it flush. You do not have to. I just prefer it. And I'm going to go about to that hook point maybe a little further because it is going to suck in a little bit. Switch that pinch. One, two. Crank down on that thread. Crank down on that thread. Crank down on that thread. And come back. Don't be afraid to catch some of that deer here. You want that a thick body anyways. Plus deer hair and elk hair floats. So not gonna hurt you. Alright, I'm gonna come in here and wrap over that. Get it cleaned up. Kinda wrap a little, cut a little, wrap a little, cut a little. Pink pair post. Tie in your pink pair post. Two. Pull that back. One, two. Pull. Okay. Come in here and trim your pink pair post. Just about there. Just about the height of the wing. A little lower. It's just so you can see the fly. Doesn't serve any crazy purpose besides visibility. And what we're going to do next is we're going to take our sexy floss, cut a piece of sexy floss about four inches, line up our both sides or tips of the sexy floss, and we're gonna tie that in on top of the hook. Get a couple wraps. Should be able to pull it carefully. And that'll happen. 
pull your floss too far. Jets out of there. It's better than being able to see it. You have to do it again. Okay, and then we're gonna anchor that right to the top, all the way back to where our post was in. Forward, back up to that top again. All right, we're gonna go back to the front. We're gonna grab our hackle. I'm using Grizzly. Um, I think Grizzly stands out on it pretty well. Looks nice. And I'm using a slightly oversized feather, probably a, maybe an eight. Upper end of 10, maybe an eight. And I'm gonna tie that stem in. And the way I like to do it is just pull it so let's pass that eye, crank up over that stem, to the top there. Okay, and we'll come back in with our black dubbing. Build a noodle. This one's going to be a relatively thick noodle because you're trying to cover up all that beer hair. Makes the body look real nice. Gives it a good thorax. All right, and we're gonna kind of wrap back and up and over. And for some reason, this one likes to spin on you, so you might have to readjust your noodle a little bit. But that's no big deal. And just a little more. Building that up. And then I'm actually going to add a little more. I got a little thick on the top there. Alright, so I think that'll work. You're going to take your finger your right arm, right hand, you're going to put it in this loop. You're going to pull that loop tight. Not too tight, but you want some pressure on it. You take that hackle and pull that forward. And then just begin wrapping your hackle around that floss. And then you're gonna go the distance to the eye hook about there. Then you're gonna start going back down. Um, a good tip is if you're going to use this hackle stacker method, try to keep your loop short. The shorter the loop, the tighter you can kind of pull it, and it just seems to want to stay a lot better. Okay, so that's plenty. Now you're going to take your fingers, and you're going to preen back that material. Get that hackle stacker. Preen back. You're going to tie that floss in right behind the eye. Come in here. Get a good grip on your thread, hold down, and pull that floss at the same time. Sometimes if you bounce it a little, it gets a bitter pull. And come in here, and get all your fibers, pull them back. And wrap forward. Behind the eye, wrap up to that floss. Try to kind of pinch that floss in there if you can. Just, that's kind of the weak point is that floss or that silly leg or that hell you could use a, a rubber leg hit. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now you're going to come in here and get your whip finisher out or half hitch or whatever you want to do, really. Do a couple turn whip finish. Pull that tight. 
trim that thread. Come in here with your scissors, trim that floss, and trim that hackle stem. And you can kind of go through and see what you got. You can always use a black marker to kind of doctor up gaps if you have any. She shouldn't, but I do. Maybe give that floss a little, or that uh, that nano silk, that thread. Give that a little dab. Doesn't hurt anything. And that is our stonefly hackle stacker. <laughs>